Hi, this is Jesse Liberty for Telerik. Today we're going to take a look at getting started with the RAD controls for Silverlight. This is an introduction from a dead start. So we'll begin by taking a look at downloading and installing your Silverlight trial. Once that is installed, we'll go directly to the XamilFlix video tutorials, a great place to begin learning how to use the RAD Silverlight controls. We'll then take a look at finding solutions in the full documentation. How do you work your way through that documentation? Where are the getting started sections and so forth? And finally, we'll take a look at getting help from support. Let's begin by downloading the free trial. Click on the download free trial button. This is a very quick download. I'm going to save this into my temp directory. Typically it takes just a few seconds to download. When the download is completed, I'm going to navigate to my temp directory and double click on the installer. As soon as I double click on the installer, the installation begins and the Telerik installer presents me with a couple choices of what I want to install. I'm being invited to install Test Studio and WPF, generally a good idea. For now, we'll just install Silverlight, click the license agreement and say, let's do it. It confirms where we're going to place the files. Let's fill in the signup form. With that filled in, click install. And the installation begins by downloading the files. Depending on you, the speed of your internet connection, this is typically very quick. Once the files are downloaded, installation will begin automatically and you'll be kept up to date as to where you are in the installation process. When the installation is complete, it will tell you that it is done and it is time now to check that the installation went according to our expectations, that everything is installed properly. So let's bring up Visual Studio. Notice Telerik as a menu choice. We can also come down to the Telerik templates. Click on Silverlight. See the Silverlight Telerik templates. That's what we want is a RAD control Silverlight application. So let's go ahead and give that a name. We'll call this RAD GridView.test. Accept the Silverlight 5 application. Project configuration wizard comes up. We're going to say that we want the grid view that'll install the references and all the dependent references for the grid view. That brings us into the project itself. We also have had Telerik namespace added automatically for us. That allows us to come in here and just start typing Telerik which will give us the IntelliSense support that we need creating our RAD grid view. We're just going to declare one and name it. For this quick test, we're going to need a couple classes to hold data. Let's go ahead and add an employee class and drop in the data for the employee class. And we'll save that and add one more class, which is an employee service class. Drop in the data for employee service. Let's go to the top and add the necessary namespace for observable collection. And now we have an observable collection of employee objects that has been pre-populated with a number of entries. That's the data that we need to test our application. So let's go to the code behind and we're going to set up our grid view telling it that its item source is to be obtained from the static method of employee service called get employees. We're ready to test our grid view. Let's run that and up comes the grid view. We can see the entries and the columns and we know that grid view is working and we now know that we have a fully and properly installed set of controls. Let's go take a look at XamilFlix. This is one of the most powerful forms of documentation we have for learning the RAD Silverlight controls. This includes tutorials and videos. If we come to this main page, we're going to see the current video that's on the left. And you can see that there's typically two, three, or four videos associated with a particular topic. They can run in place or full screen. Notice on the left that we have a download the project link where you can download each part of the project as you proceed through it. On the right, we have many of the already created XamilFlix projects and we're creating two new ones every week. 
as well as a tutorial. Here you can see where the tutorial is available for people who enjoy searchable text. Click on the tutorial, say open it, and it opens as a 14 page PDF. This tutorial has all of the information that is shown in the video, including all of the code and screenshots to match your progress through the video. When XamilFlix isn't enough, we can click on Community and Support and go to the documentation, scroll down and find the Silverlight Online Help, and this is complete and exhaustive documentation on all of the controls for Silverlight. You can see it's quite a list. We're going to scroll down and click on Rad Grid View, and that will take us to the introduction and overview for the Rad Grid View control. The overview, of course, provides a context and purpose and gives you a sense of the capabilities of the control. Getting started, it's typically a great place to turn to in the documentation for writing your first project that uses the control. Note that it tells you what DLLs are needed in addition, it's going to show you code on how to instantiate the control. And then beyond that, there is a tutorial that walks you through building an application. Here you can see the employee class we used earlier. You can copy and paste, simplifying the creation of your first application. Here's the employee service. And note that the C-sharp code is also mirrored in VB.net. Scrolling down further in the getting started, we see some specialized topics, including key features. Clicking on key features, we find a link to an area that shows some of the most powerful features of the grid view. In addition, you can see on the left that key features is listed under general information. But if we scroll down, those features are also listed under the features section. And each of those features has its own section. So sorting, we're going to go to and take the first part, basic sorting. And you can see that there's a great deal of information here, specifically about enabling and disabling sorting within the grid view. Another very important section on the left under Rad Grid View is the How To section. That's where you're going to find many of the advanced topics, in this case, how to implement drag and drop, master detail scenario, and so forth. Returning to community and support, there is also tremendous support available in the forums. We start with the search text box, a very powerful way to find your way through the forums. Another way to find your way through the forums is to scroll down to Silverlight. Clicking on Silverlight will bring you to forum discussions based on each of the RAD controls. From there, you can zero in on questions others have asked or that you can ask. Many of these questions are answered by Telerik employees and support staff. Coming back up to the menu, we can click on blogs. That will bring us to the general Telerik blog, but there are also blogs for the various teams and for each of the evangelists. Clicking on an individual evangelist blog will take you to the listings from that evangelist, which can include announcements, tutorials, and other items of interest to the specific community. Remember that you can download your trial at Telerik.com slash Silverlight. As soon as it is installed, we recommend that you go to Telerik.com slash XamilFlix and take a look at the videos. If you want the documentation, that is available at Telerik.com slash help slash Silverlight. Support is available at Telerik.com slash support. And of course, if you're ready to purchase, that's at Telerik.com slash purchase. For Telerik, this is Jesse Liberty. Thank you very much. I look forward to talking with you again very soon.